you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm currently a transfer student at UC Berkeley. I am a senior, I study anthropology, and today is the day before my last semester ever at UC Berkeley. <laughs> I know I took a bit of a hiatus from YouTube. I was just visiting family over the holidays and did not have the time or space to film videos, but I am back now. The plan for today's video is to just go through and start setting up for my new semester. For me, that looks like picking up the house, maybe going and getting some groceries because I do not have any groceries in the ha this house. I have not picked up any food since I got back to Berkeley from my mom's house, so the fridge is completely empty. Then I'm going to check Canvas to see if my professors have uploaded their syllabi yet so that I can update my notion with all of the due dates for my homework. I also have to finish editing a YouTube video to go live tomorrow, so it should be a pretty full day. It's already 1.30. I got up this morning and ran the accountability workshop for Accepted Society. Where I made a bunch of content. I'm absolutely loving doing the social media for Accepted Society and Accepted Consulting right now. It's a lot of fun. And I also worked on a piece of writing that I had to submit for a conference that I'm going to in a couple of weeks in February. So the next step for me is to start getting the house ready for next semester and decide whether or not I'm gonna actually go get groceries. <laughs> oh, but before we begin, I want to share something with you guys. I'll be right back. I got another PR package from Public Goods, and I thought you guys might want to see what I got while I style my hair, because I have yet to do my hair today. So the last time I got something from Public Goods, if you've seen my vlogs, I got like their college food essentials kit which had like ramen and mac and cheese and salsa and chips in it and this time when they reached out to me i decided i was going to go for more of like the self-care route so we have ourselves a sea sponge i also got a shampoo bar and one of the things i love about public goods is that they offer everything at an extremely reasonable price for members and then they also focus a lot on sustainability and low packaging so this is a shampoo bar thing the third thing that i'm actually super excited about is this lavender and vanilla candle first of all it's adorable. Second of all, it smells really good, so I'm very excited about that one. And then, and lastly, I got a little bit of hair oil. It smells very strongly of jasmine, which is actually one of my favorite scents. Um, and I've been mixing it with this Odell Air Dry, Sti Air Dry Styler Gel, and I just feel like it makes my hair look a little bit nicer. I don't know anything about hair care, so ignore me, but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my day. So, let's go. just my notion page with all the due dates and things like that that I need because my professors finally published our courses on canvas but I am a very hungry and be a little bit anxious I think because I know I need to go grocery shopping and that's the only thing I can think about right now and I feel like I can't do anything until I do that thing so um, we're gonna go get my groceries <laughs> something to get me through today, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Chips, as per usual. I got myself something hot to eat because I'm hungry right now. Bagels, since that's the only thing I ever eat for breakfast. Got some salad, got some salsa, some cream cheese, and then just some snacky foods. A wrap for lunch tomorrow, cut fruit, and of course, the sparkling water. 
Okay, that's all I got that will have to sustain me for the next couple of days. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the food that I got. And now that this is off my mind, now that this is a task that has been completed, I don't have to think about it anymore, I'm going to set up my notion for school. It's 4.30 p.m. I am working on setting up my Notion with all of my coursework and readings and all that kind of stuff for the semester. Um, I thought I would really quick show you guys what I do for my Notion. Um, it's the same thing that I've done since I started using Notion to organize my school life. So it's nothing new, nothing revolutionary. But if you haven't seen my other videos or you don't want to go digging through my other videos to see what I do, I will show you. And then I was also going to quickly talk about the kinds of classes that I'm taking this semester. But first, let me show you Notion. So this is actually a template that I downloaded from somebody else. But the most important part is my courses here and then my master schedule for the spring. I've only filled out parts of this class so far, which is one of the classes I'm taking, Media Studies 190, Beauty, Feminism, and Fashion, and Popular Culture Comparative Approach. In here, the professor has broken things down by module, so I have things organized by module, and then the week of the module, and then the topic of that week, just so I can kind of keep track of what we're doing and what the objectives are for the class lectures this week. I put every manner of assignment in here. As you can see, we have assignment, exam, quiz, dates, discussion, post, example, essay, reading, so on and so forth. So I actually put in here the required reading for each day of the week, plus the supplemental reading, and then if you open it, it actually has the things that we are reading in here for my reference. So that is the quick and dirty version of the Notion setup that I use to keep track of my classes and my coursework. The thing that I use the most often is that master schedule because once I put in all of my coursework, I can just I can just go to my school page on Notion and literally all the assignments that I have for that semester are right there. Another thing that I do on my Notion is I actually have a semester archive or an academic archive where I take my previous semester's pages and I put them in there so I can save them and keep track of all of the work that I've done as a student at UC Berkeley. One of the things I want to do when I graduate is I want to go through and try to estimate like how many pages worth of reading, how many pages worth of writing, how many words did I write that it took me to complete this degree because I think that'd be something fun to do and reflect on. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. I thought I'd share with you guys the classes that I'm currently signed up for. First, you already saw I'm taking a media studies class about beauty, feminism, and fashion in media. I have never taken a media studies class before. This class did not have any prerequisites, so I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that there's nothing in like media studies 100 that I'm gonna be completely missing out on. But I'm very interested in social media, the way that we interact with social media and the way that it can affect our bodies and our conception of materiality. So I'm very excited about this class. Next is Forms of Folklore, which is an anthropology class. I'm taking this class half because one of my favorite professors is teaching it and half because I have to. Berkeley has very specific requirements for graduation and one of those is the American cultures requirement which is taking a class that has to do with North American cultures. I'm not pleased that I have to take this class because technically intro to archaeology covers the AC requirement but not if it was a class that you took at community college before you transferred. So. I'm a little peeved, but I'm sure that the class is going to turn out fine because I really like the professor. Last but not least, I'm taking an art history class, and this one is called Reading and Writing About Visual Experience, Woven Worlds, Understanding Textiles. So this course is meant to explore the visual, technological, and cultural significance of textiles, which if you know anything about me, I love textiles, I love fashion, I love knitting and sewing and cosplay and vintage clothing. I'm actually super excited about this class because it's kind of what my brain is leaning towards right now. So I was waitlisted, the professor added me, and I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to like get into it more and get to share with you guys the things that I'm learning about that class because I really can't wait. I haven't checked the syllabus so I don't know yet what the required readings are but this is one of the books that I picked up over the summer. Women's work the first 20,000 years is about women, cloth, and society in early times which is the perfect combination between textile 
and material studies and archaeology and also gender studies. The other thing about this class that makes me nervous is that I, it is in fact a writing class and while I think I am a good writer. I do not think I am a great writer, so I'm a little nervous about that. <laughs> I'm having a really high distractibility day in terms of my ADHD, so I'm I'm trying all manner of things I can to get myself to focus. I tried music, I tried TV, I'm currently listening to an audiobook while I film things out and that's kind of working, but I'm hoping that Kaylin and Chanel and Danielle might want to hang out with me later so I can try and get some work done. But the ADHD brain is rambling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go so I can finish my little tasks. <laughs> Okay, it's been a while. It's almost 9 o'clock at night. I just wrapped up and putting all of my stuff into Notion, my schedule, my assignments, all of that is good to go. Um, it took me way longer than I thought it was going to because I was procrastinating like crazy, but I hopped onto a Zoom call with Kaylin and Chanel and they kept me on track. I still technically have to edit a YouTube video tonight, but seeing as it is my last night of freedom before school starts and after looking at the intense amount of readings I'm gonna have to do this semester, I think I'm going to call it, go take a shower, slash bath, and read my book, light some candles, and when I get into bed I will edit a little bit of my video as well as um, join Chanel's accountability workshop tomorrow so I can edit in the morning to hopefully post tomorrow afternoon. So um, that is the plan. Let's go do it. <laughs> well rested for it. Um, I did not get around to editing my YouTube video, but I will get up tomorrow morning and do it in the accountability workshop. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm just going to read my book a little bit longer and go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching. I am all prepared for the new semester, my last semester at UC Berkeley, which is both exciting and very sad to say out loud. Stay tuned for more UC Berkeley vlogs coming your way very soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.